Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for another flight test. What we have here is the Cavan 2.7 meter twin shark powered glider, sent to me by my friends at Model Shop Leeds. This is a semi scale version of the full size HPH Sail Planes 304TS uh, competition glider. So the kit should have everything in the box that we need to get it flying less the receiver, transmitter, and flight battery. So let's take the comp components out of the box, let's see what we get. Okay, so all the components are out of the box and the first thing I'll say is that everything was very well protected in the foam carton that was inside the box. All the components in separate plastic bags and taped down and held down by the very clever, cleverly designed foam carton. So no chance of anything getting damaged uh, while it's in transit to you. So looking at the individual components, we've got the fuselage first. You can see that we've got the spinner folding propeller already in place. If I take off the, the canopy, which is a strong magnet at the back and slots in at the front, the canopy itself, it's got some stickers inside it, should you decide to put a pilot in there, or two pilots, because it's a two-seater in the full-size competition glider. Then inside we can see that the motors are in place. They've even hot glued down the phase wires so they don't get in the way. The speed controller is nicely mounted on the inside of the fuselage. Uh, and then we've got an XT60 connector from that to plug into our flight battery. And the battery itself mounts on this uh, piece of ply they've got in here uh, with two Velcro straps. Then you've got the wires from uh, for to plug into your receiver for the ele elevator aileron flap uh, throttle from the speed control obviously and rudder so it makes a very very simple setup on your transmitter then we've got the two uh, cables each side for the aileron and flap into each wing going to the oh no just point out that there's obviously a single bolt to keep the wings in place. So in terms of transportation, you, you could you know, fit, fit this in your car, uh, take and assemble it at the field, which is nice. Not always the same for these gliders. Uh, this is a T uh, type tail setup. So the horizontal stabilizer elevator will go on top. You can see that the servo for the elevator is already in place but we're going to have to hook that up to the to the elevator control surface with the provided push rod and then the rudder servo is already in place and connected to the rudder already wings uh, nothing to do at all because the servo is already in place and connected up to the aileron and flaps respectively just a case, as I, as I said, of slotting those into the side of the fuselage and putting the retaining bolt in place. There's a single uh, wheel to attach underneath. Uh, there's in, there are instructions, but it's literally a page illustrating how to screw it together. And they even include a little uh, single sheet about the specification of the full size. 304 TS and its different variants. So this should not take any time at all to screw together and uh, then I will take it down to somewhere picturesque to fly for the first time. Okay so here we are down the flying field ready to fly the Tiger Shark for the first time. Really no assembly tips on this, it goes together really really easily. You don't need anything more than that one page of build diagrams or assembly diagrams to put it together. There's only one little thing to point out and that is on the tail you'll see that where you put the uh, control rod in to the elevator control surface there is already one grub screw in there. Leave that in and you use one of the new grub screws in the other side of that fitting to clamp, clamp it in place when you've got the elevator at neutral. That was the only thing other, other than maybe to go around all the other grub screws, and, grub screws and just make sure they are tight. 
um, for safety. But setting it up uh, on the radio, uh, the transmitter, my TX16S, very, very simple. Um, added flaps, but I don't think I'll need them. It's a fairly windy day today. Uh, 4S2600 pack in here. And I've put it right up to the front. It's a cavern pack, so really highly rated packs. Again, available from Model Shop Leeds. Um, that's right up the front because on the tail, I have put my uh, Insta360 Go To camera to give you some views of the surrounding countryside. I'm, I'm really lucky to fly at a very nice uh, site near a very uh, historic monument that's just over there that you might be able to see. You'll definitely be able to see the visitor centre, but with a bit of luck, you might be able to see the actual monument itself. So uh, just onboard views only or this time, but uh, I hope you enjoy the views. Let's launch it and let's see how it flies. So there you go, that's first flight of the Twin Shark from my friends at Model Shop Leeds. Uh, really easy to fly. Launch, super easy, with full power, just went straight off. No trim required, I'm absolutely honest here. No trim required. As long as you have the, uh, the control surfaces neutral, um, then absolutely fine. I had three rates, rates set up on my radio. I left it on full, full rate so I could demonstrate some mild aerobatics. So loops, really easy, just a shallow dive. Uh, build the energy and then pull over the top really easy rolls this the same if you've got a bit of speed then no problem uh, but they are very slow it's a glider so it's kind of understandable full deflection and it, it rolls you're going to need to feed in some elevator to keep it vaguely axial uh, landings very very easy as well almost landed at my feet can't complain about that and uh, flight time on that one 4s 2600 pack i could stay up for 30 45 minutes no problem and uh, hunt around for thermals that's really what this glider is all about so i hope you enjoyed that uh, if you did then please subscribe click the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads and live streams but uh, otherwise hope we see you for the next one thanks for watching see you soon